Oh, hello, just a quick video tutorial on how to convert your spot colors to, in this case, CMYK colors in Illustrator. I am using Illustrator CC. I think this will probably go back a few versions, but I don't know how far back. Sorry about that. Um, this is one of those actions that I have to always look up. For some reason, I tend to forget how to do it, and it's incredibly easy, and it's very simple. It won't take uh, any more than a minute. Um, I hope that by recording this video, uh, I might actually remember how to do it, and at least I'll have a quick and easy resource next time. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, first, we want to check that your document color space is indeed um, where you want it to be. So that's under File Menu, Document Color Mode, and in this case, it's CMYK Color. You'll also see that indicated in the tab on the uh, left corner of the window. So that's great. We're where we need to be. Um, second thing we want to do is to select your spot colors. In this case, I'm going to select my entire graphic. Uh, there's a slew of spot colors in here. I'm not sure that was the smartest decision, but for this demonstration, it should work fabulously. Everything is selected. We're going to move up to the Edit menu and zip halfway down to Edit Colors. And the seventh item down, at least in uh, Illustrator CC, is to convert to CMYK. I'm going to do that. Everything that I've selected has now been converted and we're done. Uh, just a word of warning in this case, um, understanding that CMYK printing and, and Pantone process spot printing are completely different processes, you know that there will be, or most likely, there will be a color shift between what you've originally set up and what you output. So it's a really great idea, if you have one of these, is to check a Pantone to process swatch book and you'll see exactly how they're going to appear. And it might just mean that you go back and make a few tweaks to your CMYK values to get exactly what you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you for your time.